Yes, it looks like we found Magic the Gathering repacks at the thrift store yet again. I head to thrift stores a few times a week trying to find collectibles. Right here I thought maybe I was in luck with some Pokemon stuff, but it looks like it was just a bunch of tins that were left empty, which was kind of odd, because later we did find some Magic the Gathering cards that were in these repacks for $4.99, so basically $5. And there wasn't just one, there was five in total that I ended up grabbing. I probably wouldn't have grabbed them if I didn't have my 20% off coupon with me, which definitely helped with the cost of these repacks. The best thing I found at the store, however, were these shown and jump magazines definitely awesome and probably more valuable than the magic cards that i'm going to be opening up right now okay here they are we got five packs total thank god i got that discount because i'm not expecting to get much in here but you never know you never know do the people at valley village know the value of these cards i don't know they probably do let's see what we have inside here why don't we go off with the uh, gate crash one here which is a uh, pretty interesting we got death cult rogue i actually am very nostalgic towards Gate Crash is a set. It was actually one of the sets that I actually learned how to play Magic with. So I really do love the guilds and all that. Unfortunately, will we get any value back? Ah, that is here to be seen. All right, let me just adjust the camera a little bit better. There we go. Death Cult Rogue. Okay, so we got three of them there. Mortis Strider. We got more than a place at five, six, six Paranoid Delusions. We have uh, five of them, and then we get some Dominary United randomly in there. Okay, Electrosonic Infantry, Bane Alley Broker, okay, Call of uh, the Nightwing, Course Confession here, uh, Dinrova Horror, okay, Psychic Strike, that's actually decent for Mill, Mind Rot here, Murder, Ogre Jailbreaker, we got two of those, Rakdos, Drake, we got uh, five of them as well, Sewers, Shambler, oh god, Ravenous Rats, uh, Servant of Nephrox, we have two of them. Sinister Possession, we have three of them. More of the horrors, okay, great. So we have another place out of them. And then we have another Death Cult Rogue. Okay, feeling pretty bulky so far. Uh, why don't we open up uh, this Guildgate pack here? Hopefully it's not just Guildgates, then we're definitely getting those. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, we got uh, three Rakdos Guildgates, uh, two Celestia. Five Simic. Then we do get a foil. That's pretty cool from Dragon's Maze. Far and away. Far and away from the value. Uh, that's for sure. Psychic Strike. Hey, that's pretty cool. Nice little foil there for any mill player. Naturalized. Terramorphic Expanse. Tranquil Garden. Okay, from uh, Kamigawa. Champions of Kamigawa. And they get a Water Veil uh, Cavern. Bent Panorama. More Evolving Wilds, which is basically Terramorphic Expanse. Holy cow, there is a lot. Oh my god. Finally, we get Jund Panorama, and then we get a Pinecrest Ridge, Seraph Sanctuary, good for Popper, uh, Azorius Guildgate, we get a uh, five of them, Boros Guildgate, a playset of those as well. Okay, here we go, Death's Approach from Gate Crash, so we're sticking with the Gate Crash theme here. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, one, and then we get a Destroy the Evidence, a Distant Tomb, Duress, Fatal Fumes, uh, we get a Rona's Vortex, okay, Sim Guildgates, Baron Moor, uh, that's actually a decent card for Popper, Evolving Walls, Forgotten Cave, Goblin Burrows, there we go, that's actually, that might be around a dollar, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> probably not. It's free real estate. But, uh, this is the uh, Elves versus Goblins um, uh, dual deck one, so that's pretty sweet. Lonely Sandbar, and then we get Nivix, Area of the Firemind. And then we get the Restless Tomb there, Tranquil Thicket, another Cycling Land, and then we get a Ooze token there. Boros Guildgates, Mirror Guildgates, ton of them, oh my god, just keeps going. Hey, not bad, a Bounce Land, Golgari Rot Farm. Uh, more Guildgates, another Bounce Land, Is It Boilerworks? We get a few of those. Um, and then we get more Rakdos Guildgates and Is It Guildgates, yikes. Uh, I will say though, it's, it probably seems weird that I'm getting excited over Bounce Lands, but literally, I, I've done these a few times before, and the value is just horrible. So, just to see those, I'm like, hey, those are playable. Those are modern playable. We got more Horrors here. We got more Far and Aways. Three of them there. Uh, Haunter of Night Vale. We have three. Uh, Warp Physique. Okay. We got a Woodlot Crawler. Oh, boy. Death Cult Rogue. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How many of those do we have already? Nightmare Void, okay, and then we get a Plagued Rosalka, uh, Reassembling Skeleton, these are a dual deck uh, cards, Sadistic Hypnotist, uh, Slum Reaper, 
Uh, Veilborn Ghoul. That's pretty cool. We got a foil from Magic 2013. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's worth a dollar. Vigor Mortis there. Not bad. Uh, right of uh, Precinct 6. We have Bane Alley Blackguard. Okay, a bunch of those. Holy cow. We get a Brain Weevil here. Uh, the Slug. Crypt Incursion. That is actually a playable card. Not bad, but really not a lot of value there. And then we get the Dagger Drone Imp. Dark Favor. Death's Approach, and that is uh, pretty scary. Stop! We only have one pack left. Let me know what you guys think of these thrift store repacks. I see them every once in a while. Every time I see them, I'm always like, should I? Do I really want them? Like, ah, well, at least it's like a warning to people uh, to not get them if they're bad, right? So, Unholy Strength here, Vile Rebirth, uh, Walking Corpse. We have a few of those. We get the Yoke of the Damned here. Oh, boy. We get some uh, basic lands here. I love seeing basic lands. No, we do not. Oh boy. Is there any foils at least? Oh my god. Oh no, there we go. Finally, we get the Ghoul's Feast there. And then uh, we get some cards backwards. Uh, treasure Find. <laughs> treasure Find. Oh no, Paranoid Delusions. That was me. I was having Paranoid Delusions. Why was I going to buy this? I don't know. We have uh, three of them though. Pilfered Plane, <laughs> Psychic Strike. To end things off. Oh boy, uh, that was uh, that was fun. Anyways, uh, let's be a warning. Yeah, when you see these, uh, they're really not worth it. It's very rare that you're actually going to find anything at the Valley Village or Savers. You might, and there might be some value there. I actually prefer just doing the Goodwill auctions on shopgoodwill.com. Uh, I just think you get better value overall when it comes to all the bulk that you are going to get usually with what you pay but nonetheless i hope you did enjoy this video i hope it was informative i hope it was useful for you and i do hope it educated you in some form okay anyways that's all for today and i'll see you guys in the next video Use promo code MattCaster for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MattCaster at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount.